Welcome back to Hannity. A shocking new video from documentary filmmaker Ami Horowitz reveals that some American Muslims living in Minneapolis would prefer Sharia law right here in the U.S. Watch this. Do you feel more comfortable living under American law or do you feel more comfortable living under uh, Sharia law? Uh, Sharia law. I'm a Muslim. I prefer Sharia law. Sharia law, yes. You prefer uh, Sharia law over American law? Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. And do you find most of your friends uh, say, feel the same way? Yeah, of course, if you're Muslim, yeah. Joining me now, Fox News contributor Ami Horowitz is with us. Okay, tell, tell us the circumstances under which you got this video. Well, the, the, sort of the genesis of it was I spent a lot of time doing these videos all across the world, and whenever I'm in Europe, I'm just, I marvel at the fact that there's such a lack of integration between the, in the Muslim community all across Europe, you know, in France and London. And, you know, we, we have so, so many terrorist attacks going on. You know, over the past 12 months, we've had over a dozen terrorist attacks here in the United States. And in Minnesota in particular, there have been maybe 20 to 40 Minneapolis-based Muslims who have gone to fight for ISIS and al-Shabaab. And it, it blew me away. I couldn't believe it. So I said, i got to go find out what's going on. So I decided are to go Are these natural-born American citizens, or are they immigrants? The vast majority of the people I spoke to were either born here or they immigrated here legally and grew up in, 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 in the United you know, States. I guess, considering that... This is the antithesis of American values, the treatment of women and freedom of speech. For example, let me run this next tape that these people that, you, that Ami interviewed actually said it should be illegal to make fun of the Prophet Muhammad. Watch this. Would it be better if we made it illegal in America to make fun of the Prophet Muhammad? Definitely, yeah. Do you think we should make a law that makes it illegal to... to, to... That would be better, yeah. That would be better yeah. to stop, you know. Yeah. Uh, aggression. I was so upset and I was so mad. They insulted our religion, they insulted our prophet, and we couldn't take it. And they shouldn't be allowed to do that? Oh my God. Big time, yes. Big time, yes. So, so they don't believe in freedom of speech. They don't believe in American values. So then the question here, you know, they have every right to believe that, but here's the question. Are we going to allow people that are pushing for values that contradict American values, something as simple as freedom of speech, that want to restrict freedom of speech or restrict the rights of women, that they should live under Sharia law, should we allow them to come here? I think that's a fair question. Do you, you want to be an American? Do you believe in American, American culture, American law, American constitutions, the American constitution or not? I mean, it's I mean, immigration across the Islamic world here in the United States is up radically over the past few years. And that's a great question. In fact, one of the questions I ask these guys who, who live here or were born here, grew up here, would you rather live in America or Somalia? And the vast majority, in fact, all of them said Somalia. I was like, whoa, 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 stop the clock. What's going on here? Live in Somalia versus the United States? You know, the United, the, the, um, in Australia recently, a number of years ago, a short time ago, the prime minister made a very strong statement. Either you become Australian or you can leave. Is that something that America is now going to have to consider debating? In other words, that you buy into the concept of liberty and freedom and, and free speech rights and the Constitution? Or what do you think? I mean, it, it pains me. To, listen, I'm, I'm a product of immigration. My, my mother was an immigrant. Now, that may be an argument against immigration. But nonetheless, it's, it's an important part of who our country is and, and, and what we've built with our society and our, and our economy. And it pains me to say that we've got a problem with a, with a certain type of immigration here. All right. Thank you for being with us. Appreciate you sharing that tape. Joining us now with Reaction, the director of Jihad, JihadWatch.org, Robert Spencer and Imam Muhammad Ali. Ilahi is with us from the Islamic House of Wisdom. Imam, let me ask you, um, I don't care what your religion is, I believe in freedom of religion, but if Muslims want to live under Sharia, whose values contradict American values, if they want to restrict Americans' freedom of speech and not support our Constitution, why are they here? Uh, you know, Sean, uh, before I start, let me say this, that uh, I'm a Muslim and American, and it really hurts me to, to see that we as mainstream uh, Muslim, American Muslims, we are caught between uh, two forces of Islamophobia uh, on one side, and then uh, the extremism, ISIS, uh, Taliban, Al-Qaeda, Nusra on the other side. And these two tsunamis that 
uh, destructively attacking us day and night. They are providing victory for one another, but then we are paying the price, and it's so much of injustice, so much insult, so he, much but hate, Imam, let me ask so you, much but discrimination. If, and if, it, it's not fair. I mean, show Sean, show please some understanding. All this propaganda, exaggeration, and generalization, and assumption but you, against but us. You, hear, you see the tape. People that would rather live under Sharia, people that would limit the freedom freedom of speech, Robert Spencer. You see it on tape. Um, Sean, we, do we have to, Robert? Yeah, I, I, I saw that. One, one more I, second, Robert Spencer. Do we uh, have to consider that people must agree to assimilate? They must agree with American law, American values, absolutely. the American constitution. Absolutely, Sean. Explain. This used to be taken for granted among immigrants. This used to be something that was uh, a matter of course. My grandparents were very, very proud to come to the United States and become Americans. And all the people who came with them knew that coming to the United States meant coming to Amer coming, becoming American. Now it's a very different case. There have been four separate and independent studies in mosques in the United States conducted since 1998, and they all came to the identical result that 80 percent 80% Sean of mosques in the US teach the superiority of Sharia over constitutional law and the necessity ultimately to replace one with the other. They are all fact based, they are all based on uh, studies of what is actually taught in these mosques and they show that this is a major problem. These guys in Ami's video, they're not an isolated case, they are the vast what? majority of well, the Muslims, they're well, reflecting no, what is taught in the vast Let majority of mosques. Let me say this. Mr. Sponsor, you know, first of all, we know, unfortunately, the history of your Islamophobia, and I don't want to go to the details of that matter, but first of all, you there see, are Sean hundreds Hall, of there's thousands. No, 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 Mr. Sponsor, no dealing Mr. With the Sponsor, facts. no, there's please, only please. personal no, attacks I, no, no, in response I, to this. I this watch, is all these I guys got. This video, it's a deflection strategy designed to divert this. attention guys, away from the grim reality watched, of what is taught in the no, mosque. The reality, Sean, you know, I watched this video. First of all, there are hundreds of thousands of Muslims who are serving this country in the hospital and university universities, in, in the schools, in the business area, instead of going on the street and talking to some you're not foolish, addressing ignorant, the question. random Imam. people, what why you are not talking to the right people to you're begin with? You're not addressing with? the question. I mean, you know, well, if no, people, no, well, I'm, if there are people Imam, that, excuse Imam, me, if what the, program Imam, do you have in your mosque to teach constitutional values? Well, you know, what, we what kind believe. Of, what and kind of classes the, you do you know, have to teach Muslims well, to well, adhere to the freedom right, of speech let him answer. in your mind? Well, well, let me say that. Let me say that. Well, first of all, first of all, the whole concept of discussion of Sharia is a ridiculous nonsense, waste of time, because we already, yes, as Muslims that follow the laws of this land, we believe in the Constitution, and Constitution already... But not the people on that video, for, sir. For, sir, for, for, sir, for, for, the, first of sir, all, the people first in that of video, all, wait, my mom, the people in that video said they don't believe in freedom of speech, that you can't criticize the well, prophet. I'm a Christian. For, I don't like a crucifix. Let me finish. I don't like a crucifix submerged in urine. But if somebody in America wants to criticize the prophet, the age of his wife, they're free to do so. And if people are saying they don't want to live under those laws of freedom or the implementation of Sharia in countries like Saudi Arabia, which is oppressive towards women, and they want to implement that here contrary to American freedom, then we have to question whether or not you. we will then let you in this it, country. Why, Mr. Spencer, why is it that we support Saudi Arabia? Yeah, if Sharia Allah is what Saudi Arabia is practicing, I'm 100% yeah, against the Sharia Allah. And I, I am yeah, for the Constitution. With the Constitution I'm not saying you. I'm that, talking about the people on the tape. Robert Spencer. Well, those, those people the problem are is selected this is even not an one at a time, Robert. The Imam, excuse me. The Imam mentioned Saudi Arabia, and this is an important aspect of this problem, that the North American Islamic Trust, which is a, a Saudi-funded entity tied to the Muslim Brotherhood, controls 80% of the mosques in the United States. There again, that's that 80% that teach Sharia. And this is not being addressed by immigration authorities. It's not being addressed by law enforcement authorities. This kind of teaching that these young men reflect in that video is mainstream in American mosques and nothing is being done about it. And we see this imam, all he has is deflection and no answers about no program well, to if teach that's American the case, values. Mr. Spencer, and there is no uh, we're going to any guys, we're gonna have to leave it there. No, no. I appreciate Mr. your time. Spencer, I, if I that's run. the case, what, why we are supporting Saudi Thanks. Arabia? I've got to run. Why Thank you both. Coming up, Baltimore is not the only city seeing a surge in violent crime.